Hey guys, it's me Shark from Team Burst again and today I'm gonna be doing a breakdown of the Geared Chronicle set from Astro Force because the full set is review and I want to get this video in time so I'm not gonna be t uh, telling the skill of the card I'm saying, I'm just saying the name and talk about it. I'm gonna be putting the skill on the screen so you guys can pause and read it if you don't know already. So let's get started. So first card is Chrono Tiger Rebellion. Well it's just me saying this, I'll give a rate for everyone, I'll 5 star. This card is definitely a 5 star. This card is very good very strong just this card could just change the game state from losing to winning this card is very good for what it gives for lessening your hand and the support it's been giving is quite decent this card can definitely be improved upon but yeah uh, if we have more support just doing this, just applying more pressure, of course, there's going to be like the double R grade too. If we have something more like this, that discard a card and then gain benefit later, then that's great. I feel like there's a card where you can discard a card uh, and then when it attack, you can retire and draw. That'd be that's something cool. So Kona Fan can definitely be an archetype. Uh, is an archetype of its own because there's definitely going to be a lost legend deck so yeah it's definitely an interesting deck i have played as it a lot and it was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie next week i'm probably gonna do a deck profile on it because i'm pretty sure i got a deck list i'm really happy with right now so yeah hope you guys look forward to that next card we have is chrono fang tiger now he's basically a he is okay He's basically a lost legend, but his Rona Haunt skill can only be used against Rebellion, which limited option, which means in future support, we can either get a new Chrono Tiger, uh, Chrono Fang Tiger, or our only goal is to go to Rebellion, 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 because plus one, this card is definitely going to be one. There's no doubt. Plus one drive is major, but it's, mm, it's really limited. I would say if, because I thought maybe in the future we could have like support grade 4 before we go into this big setup turn. But this card doesn't really allow for that. So, I mean, in future support, this card is fine. Uh, this In future support, this card is not that good. <laughs> but in right now, he's fine. Plus 1 crit, plus 1 drive is very major. And the artwork is awesome. So, I'll give this card a 3.5. It's not too good. But it's not too good in a sense of a lot of way. Like, you can't really want any backup grade for. Like, there's one time I tried to run Mystery Flare just for the setup, but it's, it's not worth it. You just go for one Rebellion. Next card for our Triple Rare, we have Chrono by Tiger. So he is a grade 2 of the line. He's pretty good. Um, To discard a card plus 1 crit is very major. I thought it might just be like a decent attacker, but that plus 1 crit to discard is used nearly always. Combined with Chrono 2 Tiger, this card is amazing. Draw, future, this card is great. I'll only give it 3.5 is because it's triple rare, and I don't think it deserves a triple rare spot, even if how good it is. I think uh, this card should have swapped with the grade 2 double R, that plus a drive, but it's cool with me because I need four copy, uh, 8 copy of that to make both that. So I'm kind of happy that that card is a double rare so I can buy it very easily. The next card, we have Renovate Ring Dragon. Yes, the supporter of Lost Legend. Now, I thought, okay, Kono Feng is good. Let's have like a good support grade. Thing. That might be good, but no, I got something even better. We got a very, very good support grade three for Lost Legends, uh, for Mystery Flare build. Basically, this card can just bind a hell lot when it come up because if it's on rear guard, since it doesn't set other card, you can just bind itself too, so. Just great. You got two call and one more extra bind. This card is just great overall. With this card, you don't even need you don't even care about Volkira anymore. You don't need to run Volkira, but you still be breaking a bit. But uh, of course, when you ride into this, it's still not that bad. It's still a setup card for Mystery Flare. Just not as good if it's on rear card. But this card is still great overall. I like it. I really like it. I really like the fact that you use Soul Blast. So you don't need to uh, mix with Lost Legend Counter Blast 2 and draw. <laughs> But yeah, this card is great. Like you, you just run this card and just you still run Lost Break because this one, even though it bind turbo pretty fast, it's still not as great as us uh, having Lost Break in that. It's still pretty great. So I give this card a four star. Honestly, this card design is very great. Next we have Steam Scala Erub Cup. This card, great use in all Gear Chronicle build. Chrono Fang standard, uh, Lost Legend standard, CTB. 
Chrono Fang Premium, Time Leap, like this car is just used in every build. First of all, the first skill just gives you an extra drive. Imagine 7 drive check gear next, and then second, and then if you have 2 of this, then 9 drive check gear next. This card is freaking strong as shit. And also the fact that it's a stride farmer too. Not only does this help both standard deck, it also helps all the premium gears. So this card is gonna be running every single gear build. Not maybe not at four in some build, maybe not in CTB, but in nearly every build it's gonna be at four copy. Kronos Command, Gear Colossus, whatever deck you can thought of, this card is gonna be in it. Like this card is just too good. It's a stride farmer, it gives you an extra drive. Very great. We have Chrono 2 Tiga. This one kind of... Oh, wait, I need to give a score. So, e out, I would give it 5 star. This card is great. Next, next card, we have Chrono 2 Tiga. Tiga basically draw you plus 1. Then, when it's discarded, you plus 1. This card is also kind of like Ikaba. It's going to be run in nearly every Gear Chronicle build. Even with the Lost Legend build, Chrono Fang build. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be run in CTV. Because CTV is still a major name they need to put up. Also, if you want to that extra secure Demiurge, then you definitely don't want to run Tiga. Uh, in Time Leap, probably. In other build, definitely. Like, this card is just great when discarded, which is basically for every start if you don't want to discard a great, if you don't have a great 3 to discard. And also, it's a free plus. What do you need more? <laughs> Tiga, definitely 4.5 star. <clears throat> Next card, we have Novel Around Dragon. This card suck. There's no way to get a plus from this card. You ride it, you count off last one, discard two to call three. And you you are forced to call top three. So if you call a trigger, suck to be you. <laughs> There's no way to plus from this because the way to ride this is either you ride from hand, which you go minus one, and then you minus two after it to call three. So that's in neutral. Then if you want to go into Lost Legion, uh, just try into this. The best way possible is just, uh, the least... Uh, the least cost is to discard one great thing and then go into this, which is a minus one and then minus two afterward when you see the skill. So there's no way to get a plus from this card. It's not our like axe skill either. Like that would help. It wouldn't help. But there's no way to plus from this card. So there's no point. This card just suck. I don't want to say this, but this card just suck. Like, there's no way to help in this card. <laughs> Next we have, uh, um, I mean, one star. Like that card is just... Very bad. Next we have Steam Link's Gudia. So he is a discard father. Very good discard father. I know some people just go with four Chrono Fang and then four Tiger. I don't really like that. I feel like our backup gate is Steam Links. At the start, I tried to run Lost Legend as a backup, but then I tried him out from I saw my friend one of my friends use it and I try him out and I really like it. It's just a discard father when you just have overhand because sometimes you do have you just discard this card just stack power and then blow the whole back row before you blow the whole front row with Chrono Tiger. This card is just great. Also, it's stack power. So, I mean, what wouldn't you have? <laughs> like, even if you only have two in the front row, I still recommend you using it if you still have not less than one card. Because this card just gained 5,000 power. I mean, it's just great. There's not really argument. Uh, of course, if you ride into it, it suck, but no one cares. Because if you ride into it, you're probably dead anyway. <laughs> It's gonna be, for me, this card is gonna be 3.5, sorry. I know people might disagree, but I like him. Next, we have part of the grade 4 engine, Steam Sweeper Sarko. Sarko, I do see a, some Chrono Fang deck playing him, but I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like the grade 4 engine. I try it in my deck, uh, if you uh, know my logo, you would know that I use it sometime. I try it out, and it just sucked. It, it, there's no really helping it, it just sucked. It's the truth, I can't really, uh, I barely use it. Like, when I use it, I was gonna win anyway, so I basically win that turn anyway. This card is like, I don't really like the grade 4 engine. I'd rather run Nabu instead of this, so yeah, i give it a 2 star. I'm sorry if anyone liked the grade 4 engine. I might have not tried enough, but who knows. I'll do a deck profile next week and probably do another one if I feel like I ha I want any change, but you know. Next, we have Steam Maiden Ichibi. Now, this card is very debatable. I really like her art design. I really like her skill in general. I saw some people running it, and my question is why? Because this card's skill is barely usable. The only time you can... The only time you're gonna use it is when you rush on grade two or rush on oh yeah rush on grade two because if you go on rebellion 
your hand is gonna be uh you either you don't use uh ikuba or you don't use chrono Ti chrono fang tiger skill which will be both dumb if you have it on the field or you don't draw any draw trigger or you didn't use chrono fang tiger first uh the one other skill which will be answering why would you lower your hand to zero if you're not gonna use it last skill to turn off face up face down to Minus the five K shield because this card does require a counter blast. So I have no idea why people would run this unless they want to do great two rush, which I mean it could work, but there's not really a situation you can run this. Why would you run this? I want to question. So sadly, even though we're incredible art, I would need to give it only two star. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next we have a uh, new PG. New PG for gears, that's great. You can run stack a lot of crit with Chrono Fang. You can do that. Uh, I was thinking of doing a build with gears because there's two space left. You can either run meme, you can run the great one that discard a lot like the great three. Uh, or you can just run this PG and now you can run 10 good gear. Uh, gear. So yeah, this one have a nice art too. So all the P new PG, just give it half, so 2.5. Next, we have another grade 4 engine named Steam Sweeper Car Carisha. Now, when I first see this card, I thought, oh, okay, this card seemed decent. You Soul Blast to retire. You don't really use it so except Prombi Worker, Corky Corky Worker. I didn't think much. I tried him and he sucked. Like, the only reason, reason you would run this is there's literally no reason to run him. Like... Retire, you already have the grade 1 that discard a lot and the grade 3 that discard a lot to retire how many? Why would you need this? And you also have Chrono Tiger just bumping the whole fun row. There's literally no reason why we want this. Except uh, you want to run the grade 4 engine, which I do see a lot of people running. I personally really don't like it. But yeah, I will sadly give it 2 star. 1.5 actually because... It kind of sucks in my opinion. Next, you have Music Dance Colossus. Now, Colossus. <sighs> Colossus skill is pretty good in time if you can find the combo. If you've seen my combo of timely video, you don't really see a moment I super I call a great thing, except like for like the last, last, last turn of Gear like why the fuck <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be hard to fit in this combo the reason i'm i'm gonna just get them put this in the middle 2.5 this is not gonna be around in lost legend anymore i thought when we first got this card oh it's gonna be decent lost legend but then we got reno bait so there's no way there's no reason to run this this card is great in time leap maybe i haven't tested it yet and it just seemed very bricky in the combo like i guess you could do it because we do have seven attack in the time leap but the only reason i can think of using this card is like you already have it in hand which is not a really efficient way it's, there's not really a moment where you call a great three uh there is a, mo a lot of moment where we call chrono jet g so we can add it to hand for the second but other than that um no, I can't think of a reason. I'm sorry. Uh, I might be able to find a combo soon. I'm gonna do the time leap like t after the Lost Legend because I'm gonna do Chrono Tiger next week, and I'm probably gonna do Lost Legend the same week because I have pretty much have those two to figure out. I'm just gonna do a bit of testing, of course, but you know. Um, yeah, I'll just give it in the middle. Next one we have Steam Engineer Shira, the card that I apparently review for 13 minutes. How? Yeah. She's okay. I think I gave her two star, but now she's not really needed. I give 1.5. I give one, to be fair. Nora Tim, Steam Sniper, Nora Fam. Yeah, this card suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> this card just suck. Very easy score. One star. <laughs> I know a lot of people think that the two card for Chrono Tiger might be useful. Like, I know another person who played Gears and think the same. I don't think that... If you're minus 5k shield, you're gonna make your opponent at least waste two cards. Unless they're PGing it, and I guess you can punish them. Next, we have Steam Reporter Arbum. He's a great... He's just a worse version of the Eagle one. See, so that's perfect card, but you need to waste a card from your hand. I guess it's a bind, so it might help Lost Legend. But I, I can't really see you, anyone running this. Because in this format, we do have a lot of retire. Especially when we have... Uh, Narukami running around. To be fair, Narukami do will do increase our mind. So maybe bring Lost Legend to Spring Fest might is much a bad choice. <laughs> oh man. Next we have Steam Sweeper Dodo. To be honest, of the all the great four supporter, 
I say this card is probably the best grade four engine. Just say boost thirteen K booster. So boost any grade uh, grade two become a magic number. Boost any grade four become a magic number. Boost any grade three it's not a magic. So boost any grade four or grade two become a magic number. That's all it is. It's fine. Next we have the Steam Fighter Syria. So he's one of the three card that I mentioned. Because we have the two card free spot. You can either run meme, this card, or PG. If you run PG, you can run 10 quick here. If you run this, you get more consistency of retire. So you can wipe the opponent board more easier. If you run meme, you get more power. Sometime. <laughs> Next we have Instant Colossus. Now Instant Colossus is a vanilla. So 1.5. Next we have Chrono Tiga. He's a starter. And I mean all the starters middle with 2.5. Then we have Rico. Now this card, Art, looks sick. So I'm definitely gonna replace him with Ring Ring Worker if we are not running 10 crit gears. I might run 10 crit gears, but I don't care. Let's just run the Reclaim Gear Drake Dragon. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A bit of a weird one. But yeah. I'm probably going to cut a lot apart now. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next video. Bye.